Mine tries to kill Melty. Now for me, gets framed again. It's like a picture. Dude, cue, cue the intro. Cue the Before we get into the episode review, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. This Sunday was Devin Wells' birthday. Pause. Yeah. So, you may not look it, 50 years old, he's looking good. <laughs> yeah, you better run. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought you were going to try to attack me in my mind, that's why I said No, I'll, I'll live with you, so. That's okay. Um, anyways, yeah, so in, in honor of his birthday, leave a like, a subscribe just for him. I mean, would, you, don't, you don't have to. You that's don't all he's to. asking for, for his birthday. Mine tries to kill Melty. Devin, what is going on here? Mine's salty. I mean, she knows that she's not going to be queen. Mm -hmm. And Melty is. And so she's salty. And so she wants her rightful uh, heir to the throne to, to be queen. And so, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the king has something to do with it too. But... Um, mine's probably the, the main, the main girl. She's, man, the whole thing, man. She's always just been, this has this salt. You just, oh, you know, you just. I, I feel you, man. I was not surprised that mine would do this, but just so white out in the open like that. She literally said, she's brainwashed, which we're gonna talk about. She's brain, my sister's brainwashed, so she has to die, we can't help her. I mean. And then they were going after her, like they were, they were, like she was, she was going after her, uh, yeah. her own sister. So mine was trying to convince everyone that the shield hero is now the devil hero, the devil shield, and that he can brainwash people. And so she's over there spouting all this nonsense and saying that he's going up against the church of the three heroes, and and people are buying it. One of the soldiers even called Naofumi the devil. We knew that mine could actually use magic. We saw it when Naofumi fought the, sword, the spear hero uh, in like episode 3. Now she uses this flame magic, this fire magic, and is attacking, attacking Naofumi. But we also see Melty, who is using water magic. There it is. The bow and sword hero both get confused into, in determining like whose side like whose side is mine really on? Like what? Like she is she good? Is she bad? They're, they're, they're starting to think like what's what's going on? And you can see uh, what's his name? Izu Izuki? Izuki. Izuki. He gets all confused and you see all these soldiers running by and he's like, what's going on? And then Ren comes by and, and he's like, uh, tell him now for me, you know, now for me, please hand her over. And he's just going crazy trying to get him away from Melty. And he finally gets away. But then towards the end, you kind of see how um, mine is still on her same rampage. But I also, I thought that, um, I actually thought that mine died when Raftalia first um, stabbed her with the sword. But we, he had a theory that it was possibly just the, um, the main, what is it called, just, the main just, sword? Ju yeah, the, I think it's called the mono sword. Mono just, sword. Just to like, I'm thinking of it like a chi blocker type like thing. Like a yeah, chakra, like kind yeah, of yeah. like where it just stops the flow of it. That's why I think you know her magic yeah, yeah. fireball just dis yeah. disappeared. Yeah, is that which that makes sense? That makes sense. Yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes when the heroes were down below with Naomi and they were getting pushed around by the soldiers rushing. I I liked how Devin was saying and the bow hero was just like confused and like and they were saying stop, you know, mind stop, what are you doing? Yeah, it kind of shows that you know they were saying that Naomi's the one who's brainwashing people, mm -hmm. but it kind of shows that she's probably doing a lot of the brainwashing. Yeah. I mean, and you can, you've, if you've been following the series, you you can tell that she's been doing this from the beginning. And so. what, whether it's her using some type of magical power to deceive someone, or people are just so gullible, or it's just because everybody is so, like... Attracted or... Yeah, they're just, they, they're following this religion so anything you say that goes against it, like, oh, he's speaking heresy or he's he's the devil, then they're just going to automatically go against it, not even question it. So the beginning of the episode picks up where we left off last week, and we see soldiers rushing after Melty the attacker. And now for me and his crew, they decide they're starting to fight back, and we see how the fight goes. But the guys holding the magic crystal ball um, were actually recording it, 
and we see then later these other guys who look like they're from the church actually you know they got some they got some video editing software in there and they're they're changing it to look like the shield hero and his crew are enjoying this bloodbath and like they have almost like they have this big ginormous, ginormous I can't even speak ginormous bloodlust and yeah. So that propaganda gets spread all over the kingdom. Yeah, so he can't travel over the countries to the yeah. places that he usually wants to go to, go to the hourglass, mm. um, like you mentioned. But um, yeah, I mean, this is one thing after another that just keep framing now for me. Yeah. You know? During the beginning of the episode, I thought mine was actually smarter than I gave her credit for because it seemed like. If they were able to successfully kill Melty, then mine wins, and she could frame it on the shield hero. But if she doesn't, and the shield hero fights back, she's got this recording. But I guess what she didn't take into account is that the other heroes would start doubting her, and then she would have to take it into her own hands and try to kill Melty herself, and even say it, like we mentioned earlier. She's sick, man. She's yeah. sick. Power, man. It's, uh, what's that old saying? Absolute power corrupts. Ab Absolute power corrupts absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Devin, what is another part of this episode that stood out to you? Uh, personally, um, finding out that the king is not of royalty when he married the queen. So the queen is royalty, but not the king. So this to me tells me, or at least I'm assuming, this is a theory right here, um, that I mean, assuming because of Melty and mine have powers, that probably the queen has probably a lot of power, but probably the king doesn't, which is why now for me was able to check him. I'm just, I mean, I, I, just, I can see that. I mean, because I mean, the king act like he couldn't do nothing when yeah. he was towards him, and and they, the soldiers that were there, they knew that they couldn't do anything to now for me because he got a lot stronger. They were even saying, or I mean, I think the king was even saying. Like, how did you get this strong? How did you do yeah. this by yourself? So, I mean, I, I'm just assuming that, you know, they have all this, they, royalty has power, mm -hmm. and he kind of just like, there. Yeah, and going going through this series, we've seen the church a couple times. Uh, they've had to go to the church. Uh, you've seen people wearing those crosses. He's dealt with those nuns and the priests. So it looks like we'll be able to find out more and more as this series goes along what's the importance of that church, why the, the shield heroes left out. So that will be something I'm looking forward to seeing. Also, now they're going to be heading towards visiting the queen. You mentioned previously that you want to see more people join now from this party. We saw some new characters in the intro. What are you What are you looking forward to in this this journey? Mostly, I'm looking. Well, <clears throat> the beginning of their journey to meeting the, the visit of the queen. I'm interested to see how that conversation even starts because <clears throat> I'm from the, well, not from the beginning, but towards the beginning of the, the series, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the queen is already showing the interest of the shield hero and she's hinting at the importance of the shield hero yeah. towards the, the other heroes compared to them. And so I, I'm just interested in that conversation of how Maybe she shows how important, and maybe it shows the true power of the shield hero, like his hidden potential or something like mm -hmm. that. And of course, yeah, maybe other companions that he can possibly gain yeah. along the way or when he gets there. Now that you mentioned that, that reminds me of Melty's mission to begin with, was to, you know, kind of unite everybody. Like she tried to say when the other group was confronting now for me and his crew and I think she, I mean, we saw her throughout the episode try a couple times. She tried at the end of last week's episode, come back, talk to my dad, even even after they were they were running away. Um, so it was, I like to see how she deals with the queen, seeing that she kind of failed her mission in a way, even though it's not really her fault. I'm sure the mom didn't anticipate an assassination attempt against her daughter. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts, your theories. Uh, please share. With that said, I'm Devin. I'm Noah. And we'll see you next time.